one more thing I could do. There's uh, this little bit over here that could be worked on, and that little bit over there could be tweaked just, just, a, just a little bit, and uh, uh, this chapter can be expanded. Um, going through editing on this first part, and you know what? Scrap that whole paragraph. Let's replace it with this. Um, no. No, stop, stop, stop. I didn't finish the writing yesterday. I didn't finish my book yesterday, and I don't know what I'm more disappointed in. in myself? Did I procrastinate too much? Did I put stuff off? Did I make excuses and, and get busy doing other things to not finish it? Did I overestimate my ability to finish an underestimation of what was left? Uh, Am I being too much of a perfectionist? Like, this sentence has to be perfect. Uh, I can't publish this because it doesn't contain enough detail in this area. Um, no. Not a no, like it's none of those things. But no in the sense that I'm... I need to tap more into art. I don't know what this is art apparently hi art so I need to tap more into philosophies of art you put stuff down on the page you you get your paint on the canvas and you can tweak it a little you add more layers and then it's done you've painted your piece get it out there it's almost like another excuse to not publish it's like a, another excuse to avoid success, to, to be afraid of your own success, what I'm doing right now. It's, it's like, no, 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 I could add a chapter here. This chapter would help the flow of the book. Um, this would provide a little more detail for the reader and be a little more valuable to them. And, and it would take the product from a nine to a 10. You know, all my products are tens, obviously. My point is that it's another excuse. Are you gonna to publish today? No, why not? Because I have to write more. The goal wasn't to publish today. It's not to publish for a little while. There's plenty of work to do before that. The goal is to finish this book, Luke, as I talked. Finish it. <laughs> I've been writing all day. I've written more today than I've ever written, ever, in a day. And I'm not done with it. I'm not tired of it. It's like I woke up with purpose. I was like, pia, pia. gonna write. Why am I yelling in this ridiculous, not yelling voice? I don't know either, but I've been in this room all day writing and it's, it feels good. It does feel good. I need to get this finished. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Stop making excuses in your life to not succeed where you know you can succeed. You know what I could do later? Write version two. Write an edit. Put, put a part two out there. I can just finish this, finish this, and then send it out. No reason to, to make it perfect. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be. The first comment's going to be like, LOL. And then it's going to say something really, really mean. <laughs> Maybe not the first one, but there, there will be negative reviews. I found that not on this piece, then on later pieces, it's going to happen. Not going to please everyone. People are going to be disappointed, sad. It doesn't matter. I'm going to keep working. Okay. I feel like that ended on kind of a downer. I, I was just trying to be realistic. Like, some people aren't going to like it, some people are. Yay, life. Okay, I'm going to go write. I'm going to go finish this thing or work on it some more. <laughs> Made that mistake yesterday. Let's not make it again. I'm going to finish this book today, tomorrow. It's going to be done. The point is that I'm moving forward with it. And I'm not nitpicking every little bit. Okay, have a good day. Thank you. What, what is that? Who waves like that?
There is so much traffic going by right now on this little deserted street that I park my car on every day. I just left the gym and watching the traffic go by is an exact example of everything wrong with my thought process. Thinking like, is the door locked? Why are there so many people driving by? I don't really want to film right now in front of what, a car driving by? Well, uh, yeah, because they care in the slightest. Um, I'm worried about someone walking by, like, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna steal my, uh, my phone or, or the car. Like, really? They don't want a 2013 Prius, okay? And <laughs> this neighborhood isn't nearly that bad. And, like, what do you think's gonna happen? You're sitting in public, talking to a, a camera and and like people are gonna uh, walk by and point and laugh I, I'm gonna put some content out there and in <laughs> like what's the worst that happens <laughs> there's this this like uh, insecurity this fear of what people are gonna think or say or or how I'm going to be judged for the content that I put out and it's so ridiculous it's the exact same thought process as like what did they say? What are they thinking? Oh my God, how's my relation with this person? What's going on in this social dynamic? That is so exhausting. And it's it's so detrimental to getting things done. I promised myself today I was going to write. And I did. I wrote my face off. I wrote 9,000 words. It's more than I've ever written in one day. And I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna make some more food. I've still got a few hours before I've gotta help the wife put some uh, lesson plans together. And I'm gonna write another three because it takes about an hour to write 3,000 words. Assuming I can like really, really do it. Sometimes it's like a two hour job. Sometimes it's a thousand words an hour. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The, what matters is that I'm actually choosing to do this and then following through. I'm consistently taking action to put out content, whether it's a video or the book that I'm writing. It doesn't matter what it is. It's the fact that I'm putting it out there and I'm not being held back by ridiculous thoughts of social drama or judgment of cars going by, of people walking by on the sidewalk. Of, of roommates and family members and significant others and myself myself because it's it's not actually a fear of their judgment it's a fear of a deep rooted fear of success like who will I have to be to succeed um, what will my life look like can I handle the responsibilities of the life that I'll have when I'm successful. Now success is defined differently for every single person, right? My version of success might be different from yours, but whatever those circumstances are that make up that success that you're thinking about, it means that your life will be different than what it is right now. And I assume that in order to have a different life, you're going to be a different person. I mean, Sorry about the lighting, by the way. I, I, this is what I got. I've got these three overhead lights. I'm trying to make it work. Thank you for your patience. The, the point is that it's scary. The, this idea of, of success because it's unknown, because it's uncertain, because you don't know if you have it in you to handle the stress of new problems you, you haven't even thought of yet. What must it be like to, to have any kind of uh, possession that you, that you aren't worried about breaking or losing or to have someone in your life that you're legitimately afraid to lose or to be someplace that you don't want to leave? Like, there's, there's so many different criteria for success and I, I urge you to define that for yourself. And a lot of this is me talking to myself as well. A lot of this is, is like a, a video journal. 
for me because what I've been doing for the past decade is just dis define what I want. Define what I want my life to be and then make a plan, execute, make that happen. And every time I've done that, it's been a struggle. It's been frustration. It's been having to let go of who I am at the, at the start of that journey to become someone new, to gain new skills, new perspectives, new beliefs, to let old beliefs and perspectives die. Who you were yesterday is gone and who you'll be tomorrow, you don't know. But that time scale can extend to more than just yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And you don't know what challenges that tomorrow will bring. It's ridiculous to get caught up on the opinions of others, on the negative, doubtful opinions of yourself while you're, how did I say, while you're working on achieving those goals, while you're hustling. <laughs> That's what I like right now. I, uh, I listen to speakers in the morning when, uh, when I'm drinking my coffee and, and one of my favorites right now, Gary V, thank you so much for the inspiration. He uses the word hustle a lot. I had a great conversation today with, with my fiance, with my wife, with my significant other. I had a great conversation about the people in my life that I grew up around, that I grew up with, my friends, my family, and, and negative attitudes that they've had. And how these negative attitudes keep them where they are in their life. They're a belief structure. I'm, I'm not saying I don't have these beliefs and attitudes as well. I grew up around them. I share a lot of them. And, and what I'm talking about are these, these belief structures of like, oh, it might be difficult to do that thing. It's, it's risky to do that thing. It's uncertain or scary or ridiculous to chase that dream. That dream's a little big. Maybe tone it down a little bit. Uh... What? Aren't you my family? Aren't you friends? Oh, no, that's unrealistic. You, sh you shouldn't do that. Uh, if you do those things, you're a bad person. If, if you're monetarily successful, you're bad. How many people have, have said that in your life? I mean, really, think about the influences of the people nearest to you and how frustrating it is to hear those words. How frustrating is it... <laughs> When, when they're saying like, your dream is too big. And that seed gets planted inside you and you can choose to let that grow. And it's kind of rambly. I'm kind of all over the place. I'll work on that. But if you get anything from this video, don't let that seed grow. Don't let someone tell you that what you want is too big. I wrote 9,000 words today and I'm not done and I'm going to write tomorrow and I'm going to make another video and you might not see it all. I think I'm going to combine a few things. You're going to see one video tonight. I filmed three videos today. That's not, it's not world changing. I, I did not cure cancer. I have not fed any homeless people. No little kid learned to read. I didn't spend time with any elderly people. But I accomplished something I set out to do in the beginning. And I'm one step closer to the life I want. And hopefully, one day, I'll be able to make the world a better place. Not, not by my actions, but by inspiring other people to chase the life that they want. To rise up against those seeds of doubt that they've let grow in themselves. From their own beliefs. From their, their own structures and habits from who they are and how those things are holding them back so that they can become the person they want to become and have the success that they want to have. That's what I want to do. That's what I'm going to do with everything I produce. I'm going to put it out there and I hope it inspires you to do what you want to do, whatever that is. Please do it. 
please don't listen to that voice in your head that cares about what other people think of you. Don't listen to the voice in your head telling you these, these words of doubt that you can't do it. You can do it. You just have to take the steps and, and make consistent action to go get it done. And forgive those people that you grew up with and grew up around. Forgive your family for putting those seeds of doubt in you. Because they love you. Because they care about you. They want you to have a good future. Your friends as well. Even if they, if, if they uh, um, shot down what you were saying. Even if they were trying to negate these dreams of yours. That's their own insecurities talking. That's because they want you to have a good life. And they're like, ah, I don't want to see your heart broken if this doesn't work. And that's fine. Forgive them. Call them up. Tell them thank you for being there while you grew up. Tell them thank you for all the good memories. Have love in your heart for those people. Because regardless of the seeds of doubt they might have put in you, they supported you. In whatever way, they were there, they were around, they supported you. And you've got to support yourself. Give yourself permission to do these things. That's all I got. I went to the gym, I'm feeling a lot more energetic. Feeling great. I'm going to make some food, write those last few words. Tomorrow there will be a new video. I really hope wherever you are, life is good. And if it's not good, you can sit down. Write down on a piece of paper what's bad and make a plan to change it because you really can. You really, really can. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Love, hugs, everything. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I need some food. Have a great night. Bye. And if I may. Here with me